ITU elected officials, honorable ministers and ambassadors, ladies and gentlemen. It's an honor to address this word to the honorable public attending to the ITU PP 2012 conference on behalf of the government of Brazil. I wish to thank and congratulate the government of Romania for hosting this important conference, giving us the warmest welcome in this remarkable city of Bucharest. United with you all to build a better digital future, I would like to share some of the steps Brazil is taking. The ICT sector has a unique role in achieving the Sustainable Development Goals of 2030 Agenda. To foster this sector within our national vocation for improving spectrum availability, we have managed to, we have managed to offer our players a wide range of bands under different conditions. With this, there is no artificial spectrum scarcity. Believing that deployment of 5G technology can revolutionize our economic and social landscape, we made a spectrum available in low, mid and high bands in our 5G auction, which took place last year and was one of the largest auctions in the world. The auction even brought new entrants to our market. Once Brazil concluded a diagnosis of telecommunications infrastructure gaps, the most significant contributions due from the auction winners are being paid through goals of standalone 5G deployments, public schools connectivity and others. With this, I see Brazil as a leading country in the blooming 5G reality. But a digital future is not an isolated one. Many of the outcomes I have reported we are obtained along with ITU's work in the three sectors. That's why Brazil is eager to share our experience and help ITU set the direction for global digital transformation. To go beyond our constant participation in study groups meetings and conference, we present a Brazilian representative as a candidate to the Radio Regulation Board, Mr. Agotinho Linhares, and we also expect to participate again in the ITU Council. At this conference, we want to reinforce Brazil's commitment to ITU, respecting the union mandate, its technical core, the equal rights of all member states, and the reaching contributions of sector members. We believe that advances could be achieved in critical contemporary topics such as cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, and outer space sustainabilities, sustainability, just to name a few. To support the, uni the Union's need during the following years, I am proud to announce that Brazil is increasing the number of contributory units from 3 to 11, reaching a higher class reaching a higher class of contribution. That's an effort to strengthen ITU by allowing new projects to face our current challenges. Finally, Brazil expresses our thanks for the tireless efforts made by Secretary General Zhao, the directors of the three sectors, and all the ITU team in the last few years. May, the, may this plenipotentiary conference bring us fruitful discussions and concrete advances. Thank you, Mr. Chair.